to read to us. What are you reading? I'm not reading anything. He's not reading anything. <laughs> Taking a look at the area forecast discussion for St. Louis, based on that stuff that's occurring there over Springfield. Mm -hmm. Initial line of thunderstorms associated with the leading band of the convective system has been gradually consolidating. Although it has maintained itself longer than expected, this is likely to move into the St. Louis metro area around noon. A few stronger cores are capable of producing hail as it moves through. The MCV itself is just now entering southwest Missouri and has already had some convective redevelopment. We expect the primary severe weather threat today to occur with this feature as it crosses through southern Missouri. All severe weather threats are possible with this as the low level flow gets locally enhanced around this vortex, increasing the low level and overall shear available. Tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail are also possible as this moves through this afternoon and evening. So what do you say? I think we're good to go in that direction. All severe threats, I mean, can't go wrong with that. All right, we'll get the Nashville, we'll, we'll take 24 pop up into Kentucky and maybe reassess around Paducah. Sounds good. I'm looking at the, uh, the NAM now and it looks like those storms that are over Springfield should be hitting Southeast Missouri and, and Southern Illinois and Western Kentucky. Uh, 22, 23 to zero Z time frame. So local time, that would be uh, five, six, seven o'clock. Sounds good. All right, so that should get us there in plenty time, I think. Cool, let's go. Good to go, let's go. How far are we from where we're going? Oh, an hour and 26 minutes. 107 miles to Paducah, 107 miles to go. 107 miles to Paducah, and then to Paducah we go! <laughs> that was so much! <laughs> Continue on US 51 North for 5 miles. Cairo, Illinois, 5 miles. Hi! Missouri, 7 miles. Oh my goodness. Oh. Tornado warning for the bottom Whoa. of the line. There's a BP station, so no, no, it's not. It's not that Never too. mind, I'm no. gonna keep going. about four to five thousand uh, joules per kilogram so a lot a lot of energy Golly. a lot of energy with this one we also see some it's like some darkening skies here to the north and to the west we are in great position of course we got 41 more minutes till we get to our thing but basically what we're doing is we're going north now to get up to Cape Girardeau but on the east side of the Mississippi and then we'll have yeah. options. Uh, we won't be able to go east. Right. We'll go north, south, or west. But the storms are coming from the north, south, or west. So. Right. So, worst case scenario is we got a great spot. We park it and film. <laughs> it goes by us, and then that's it. Uh, best case scenario is, is it if it takes a jog, we can adjust north, south. Yep. Yeah. By you know, however many miles, and then we have an east connector. So, right. Lovely. Yep. Because here's the problem with chasing near the Mississippi River. If you guys aren't familiar, there's not very many bridges that cross the Mississippi River. So if we start out on one side, we're kind of committed there, unless we're by a bridge. So we're trying to get to a part of um, Missouri and Illinois that has a bridge connecting it, and we're trying to find a storm that goes to that part that we can chase on both sides if we need to and follow the storm if it crosses the river. And it just so happens that the bottom of the line of storms is heading in that direction, which is 
fantastic for us trying to chase it. The only problem is it got tornado warned a little far away from the river. So we're hoping it stays together until both the storm and us get there. Is Cairo a ghost town? I think so. Look at there used to be lights here, now there's no lights. There is still a Dollar General in Cairo. It can't be that much of a ghost town. There's more lightning behind the rain. Uh, it's up. Oh my goodness! Do you see that lightning bolt? I missed it. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna look. Whoa! This is for everybody. This is for you guys. It is intensifying. Is it over there? Why is there lightning over here? It's um, it's it's right here, at just about at 55. The core is back over here. How's it? But it's it's crossing 50. The edge is crossing 55 now. Oh, I saw that. Hey. Oh, this is the end. I just saw the end on the left. Everybody watch everybody's hair and make sure nobody's gonna Yeah, right. <laughs> it was so close <laughs> to us. This oh! is the perfect spot. It's tightening, it's tightening up. It's tightening up, Dad. Do you see it? Yeah, I see. Uh, family shot! Family everybody shot. get in the picture. This family member. Oh, uh, we your hair's gotta... standing on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, Kayla, your hair was literally. <laughs> so... I just found it funny. I didn't know that happened. Oh! It's right there. That's the one thing you watch for. Yeah. Oh, this is serious. Yes, no, it's good very catch. serious. <laughs> very good catch, Jim. Can somebody get a, a radar up? I am Did getting the radar up. Break in half. Radar scope is temporarily unavailable. Uh -oh. Looks like it's available to me. Great. Okay, the lightning is still popping. The core uh -oh. is. The core is about four or five cool. miles north of us. There is some rotation with this. It is approaching 55. Um, okay, there's a lightning bolt right where it's rotating. So the closest bolt to us is where the rotation is. It's gonna be the next three or four minutes. It's gonna be crossing 55. I think it. I think it might be that right there. That. That lowering. I think that might be it because within the next. Right. You think it's this far to the back of the storm that we can see it? That looks like the general vicinity of it. Okay. Is there like bowling right there? I'm gonna get you all. Do you see any rotation? Um, Visibly? 
clouds are moving so slowly. Oh, I see them. So do you see, can you see these clouds here that have some more definition? It's an right arrow. There? Do you see those? Okay, they're moving that way. It's an arrow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's oh, neat. Look like at that. That's pretty cool. Or a serpent's tail. A squid. It's a squid cloud. <laughs> Look at the squid cloud. <laughs> that's going on. It. Yeah, yeah, I, I it. don't think it's uh, going to materialize into anything, but that was the coolest cloud. Could it be redeveloping right there? Um, that would be what, because 55 actually goes off this way. Uh, right there. Not that part back there, but over further. Oh. I think. We'd have to go up to Perryville. Would you want to risk it? Mm -hmm. no, by the time we by. get there, it's not going to be. No. Yeah. We jump in the car and it's going to be over. Already. It's already over 55 and just going. What a beautiful lightning. Oh my god. We got lots of lightning footage on that one. That was yeah. beautiful. Alright, do we want to figure out where we're going then? Kind of, I don't, well, I don't foresee this doing anything else. Yeah, I'm just, let me just later, check it, the HRR. Yeah, it just kind of fell apart. Oh, but that arrow, that was so cool. Adventures. Check back with you tomorrow. <laughs>